This is Twit. The thing that saw me that blew me away was uh, Mojo Vision's uh, prototype. I actually got the, the hands-on demo with the contact lens with the embedded uh, uh, embedded display. Did they put it in your uh, eye? Which, No, they are not to that point yet. But they actually, they literally had, so you could view it, the demo. They, they It was basically like a contact lens on a stick. Um, and that allows you to see... Wait the interface. Wait uh, Why would you want a contact lens on a stick? This does not so, sound. Well, it's, so there's a there's a display yeah. embedded in the contact lens. Okay. And the idea is, and it, it's interesting. Oh, you right? mean like the, a the Roku group? built into the contact lens? Uh, it's something more basic information. Okay. Like, imagine you're sitting there. They they had a, a the interface demo where you could actually interact with the uh, the interface, um, where you would sort of look out to the you know you would you would look up sort of to the edge of your vision, and that would activate a very simple, very subtle drop down menu where you could you know sort of pause audio or check the weather or get a discrete piece of information. Look at the size or, of that contact you know, lens. It's got to cover your whole eyeball. Well, it's in the early days. Yeah, it's it is. <laughs> it's but early it's, days. what's fascinating <laughs> but what's fascinating about this, right, is is part of what they're motivated about is this embedded display on this um is incredibly tiny, doesn't disrupt your vision. And they did an amazing demo where you were seeing it doing edge detection and it gave you the equivalent of a form of night vision that could be dropped wow. onto uh, an eyeball, and that for you know, and there are people inside of the company that are motivated because of relationships they have in their personal lives, and it was it was fascinating because they were showing sort of medical uses for it that will help them, and they've got a partnership with the FDA to help move this through uh, uh, testing. Um, and it was really fascinating because you know, looking up in the corner and pulling this very simple menu down, they're not trying to. So you the know, gesture, what was the line, the gesture is yeah. where your eyeball is. They are their their goal. The, the the demo I had was using an HTC Vive, right? Uh, as they kind of work out the okay, the that's interface, fair. Which is actually You're really wearing well a, done. a, a visor, but it would look the same as that. So it's look, but right. that, the so, difference in the Vive is there's a camera looking at your eyeball. There wouldn't be with a right. contact lens. What 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 they're saying essentially? What my understanding is there is a display that faces your eyeball and a camera that faces out. And what they will do is they will be able to track or you know, they're basically they're saying they will be able to track which direction ah, your pupil is looking. That makes sense. And that is you will interact with this. Now, so, is the camera on the contact um, lens or are you wearing some unusual headgear? The whole idea, their goal when this ships, and it's a few years out at this point, is to actually have all of this, including the battery power, this incredibly tiny uh, lithium polymer batteries will all be in the contact lens that goes wow. over your eyeball. To me, this so. is exactly what augmented reality should be, but it does sound like yeah. it's a little bit of science fiction because the battery's in that thing. I mean, there's a camera in that thing. It sounds like we don't, I, we're not quite there yet. I mean, uh, that, that's exactly the yeah, kind of thing that was described in that book, Demon. You know, yeah, it's like years a, ago. Uh, Daniel uh, as far as his Daniel Demon. Suarez. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we, there, in that in that case, you were able to always and maybe I can't remember if Damon had spectacles or a contact, but you could look at was anybody. Contact lenses. It was contacts and get yeah. exactly what that image shows, which is uh, a little pop up over the person with their reputation, information about them. So is that kind of what they were showing? Is an overlay on the real world that has information? I love that. Uh, that to uh, well, me, you know, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Yeah, their their goal is for this to be something for you to opt into get the information, so that they're not constantly. I always think of the the that line in Ready Player One. You know, where he's like, we've discovered we can cover 87% of the human vision without causing, uh, what is it, seizures, right? They don't want to do that. They want this to be out <laughs> of the way and not disrupting your vision until you go to look for information. And it's like, okay, who is that person? All right, you know, I look up and to the right, a menu drops down, I get my information, I look straight forward, the menu recedes. Um, but it was, it was... Uh, it was, I, you know, I hate to use the word graceful for an face, but the UI was astonishingly grateful or graceful for, for I, I used it and I wasn't like, oh, God, what were they thinking? 